So, welcome to uh, the Ultra Michigan Beer Show. We've got Scott, Sean, Daniel from King Buffalo. Welcome, guys. Hey, thanks, man. Thanks, man. So, it's going to show us uh, what they're tuning around in. Yeah, this yeah. Is, is this our version of MTV Vibes? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Can't my ride. Um, so, they always point at the bed and say that's where the magic happens. Um, yeah, we built bunks because we got tired of hotels. And it's easier because after gigs we can like do an hour, like get out of the city and then get closer to the next show. Yeah, for sure. You got a background in building or building things? I do like construction and carpentry and stuff. Yeah. I like build a bunch of haunted house shit. That's what I'm going to be doing as soon as we're done with these dates. Rad. Yeah. Uh, we are just talking about Maynard and uh, him building some haunted house shit. Does he do haunted house? I he know someone Salmo was, does. He was doing uh, what you say in Jurassic Park, like... Uh, like uh, the, the guitar player ones. The guitar player. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, I was gonna he does, say like makeup and prop stuff. Oh, he does. Yeah. He like, does creature stuff. Yeah. I think he worked on like the Thing remake and all that oh, stuff. Shit. I think he does like major, That's awesome. major stuff. Hey, I know Maynard has like the wineries and like a couple restaurants and like does jujitsu, but I didn't. That makes more sense because I didn't hear anything about that yeah. stuff. Yeah. He does yeah. All sorts of Man of many talents. Yeah. yeah. So cheers, boys. Cheers. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, yeah, thanks for having us and thanks for the beer. So why don't you take us on inside? Let's check it out. Uh, you're probably just going to have to walk inside yeah. by yourself because yeah, I'm going to there. Yeah. So don't trip. That's number one. Yeah, it's, it's a van. It was a cargo van, so it was empty. Installed some extra captain's chairs so we all have a seat. Sweet. And then get the bunks back there with like the memory foam so we can actually sleep. You guys have inside, assigned seating? Uh, not really. Rotator? Sean, Sean Storm will be the driver. Um, I'm usually in the back because I don't like to be up front. I just like to be in my little, my hole. Who's got the, who's got the widescreen? Anybody? Uh, I'm the, usually the one that's in, <laughs> using that because I have the Xbox. Very long. Yeah, we'll say that. No you one got, you got an Xbox? Thing. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, I didn't bring it with me this tour because this is only ah. for four days. What did he say in The Shining when he touches the bed when he goes in the kitchen? He's like, perfect for a child. <laughs> <laughs> Say that about our band. Dude, but that's yeah, the dude, greatest thing. Like, the creepiest <laughs> line that Jack Nicholas says in that movie is probably that. So you don't agree to the band. Why? Who cares? <laughs> We're not a Stephen King novel what slash Kubrick movie. Well, child. Dude, I have a... I have a four-year-old. I'm not a. I'm not a crazy psycho. Oh, okay. Yeah. There you go. Put that in the. Put in that in the thing. Yeah. Be afraid. Be afraid, Sean. <laughs> Looks like you guys are really regimented. I mean, you got like schedule, detailed times, yeah. contacts. Well, I just. I like. You gotta have all that stuff. Yeah. I tm. I tm right. the stuff because we've been on the shows where we don't have all that stuff. It gets very frustrating. We need to find stuff out or know what hospitality is. All the. You know. All the. Right. And then this way, everyone knows. Well, I mean, you know, as fun as it is to drive around the country and sleep in a van, we are, like, working, so we need to know when we need to be places. Yeah, we try yeah, to, you know, we try to we be... We don't want to be late. We don't want to be those guys. Yeah. Like, no one cares about us enough, really, to, like, put up with, like, rock star behavior from, like, a <laughs> fledgling <laughs> van. Just be a fuck off and be yeah, like, yeah, yeah, show up when we want. No, no, yeah. it doesn't work that no, way. We, we try to be super pro about it because, you know, we take this seriously and we want to have longevity yeah. and we don't want to... We want to make sure we're doing doing things properly yeah that's that's awesome and respectable yeah because yeah. a lot of people do just think that they're like above and beyond and they're not even putting the time Dude, in to the, actually do the fucking work the today. 80s happened man yeah <laughs> it's a different time i don't have yeah. enough hair and enough coke to do like to be that person right yeah well, maybe enough. <laughs> <laughs> maybe i do <laughs> well i guess i have enough hair if i like tease the the shit out of it how does the uh, songwriting process go? Uh, it's it's a variety of things. Sean brings like certain like riffs and stuff like to the group, and like we'll kind of like throw in uh, our ideas like on top of it. But a lot of it comes from jamming. Yeah, and then, for sure. Like picking up like like you're sketching while you're playing. 
In a way, yeah. I and, mean, then, and then you listen, re-listen to it, and you're like, oh, that little yeah. chunk is Yeah, he's, he's a sound wizard. Like, he went to school for, like, recording and engineering, so he, like, records all our practices. Yeah. And he'll kind of go home and, like, pick through, because he has, like, There's good hours ears. Hours and hours yeah. and hours and hours of shit. He, he has good ears. Yeah, it's like, hey, That's a cool ten yeah. minutes, like, yeah. out of the four-hour pen practice. <laughs> Let's do that again, and we'll combine it with this ten minutes from this other, you know, thing, and put together what will be a song or kind of yeah. start to put together what, what could be an album and then after that start to work on lyrics. Yeah, you kind of like create the outline and then when we all play it together then it kind of is like, oh, maybe that doesn't work. Oh, that does work and then yeah. kind of go from there. Yeah. Live at Pompeii. You guys ever seen that? Oh, yeah. It's like, I, I yeah. own it. Yeah, yeah. Sean, Sean's a, I just like, the biggest Pink Floyd fan I'd say out of the three of us. Um, but yeah, there was a couple dudes I kept remember saying that because when we played uh, Dunna Jam at, uh, in Italy on the beach, everybody's like, this is like your life on Pompeii. Right. And I'm like, I'm like, okay, cool, I guess. you like a trained sound engineer or you just yeah, picked yeah. it up? I, and that's what I went to school for. Oh, right on. So that's why everything sounds tits. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I mean you, like, because you have so many effects and like so many layers, but you guys are a trio. But somehow, like, you're never stepping on each other's toes. Like, it, it's really a good economy of sound, I would say. Well, I think that, like, it's kind of like a natural chemistry as well. Like, we all kind of, like, know our roles and where we're supposed to be. Like, when Sean's doing a solo, like, I shouldn't be do- going fucking crazy. I should be laying back. Or when right. Dan's doing something, like, you know, we should both lay back. Pass the baton. Back. Yeah, it's like, if everybody's going insane for a five-minute song or a ten-minute song, which is most of our songs, like, that gets really fucking annoying. Yeah, it's super muddy. Yeah. We good to go? Yeah, we good to go. So, we're here with Sean from a uh, fucking kick-ass band. Out of town, out of nowhere, fucking ready to rock, King Buffalo. So, uh, we tossed him a beer here, one of Michigan's finest. It's called uh, Bell's Pool Time Ale. What do you think, buddy? It's great. I, uh, I could very well see myself... Hanging out at the back deck on a nice uh, sunny day. It's nice, refreshing, crisp. It's good. Is it an all-day drinker? Uh, I could see for some people it would be. I don't know. For me, it wouldn't be an all-day drinker. I would I would have a few and then maybe move to something a little a little uh, less uh, strong in the palate. Right on. Well, we've also got a few others here. Wheeze in the juice. Oh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wheeze some juice let's, if you don't uh, mind. Let's wheeze that juice. Yeah. This is from uh, Grand Haven, which is where we're from. This is a juicy IPA. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I'm a, typically a big IPA fan. This one definitely has a lot of strong uh, citrus, a lot of grapefruit. Um, recommend. King Buffalo recommend. Recommend. Excellent. And uh, you want to give it another taste here? Yeah, yeah. We're just firing down beers. Yeah. Hanging out in the van. I'm going to have three beers that I'm going to have to finish here in a second, but... We'll sure. help you. I can't wait to have one. <laughs> this is called uh, Founder's Mosaic Promise. It's a single hop ale brewed just next door to the very venue where you're about to shred. What do you think, bud? That's fantastic. That's an all-day drinker for sure. Yeah. yeah. One of my favorites. Yeah. For sure. That's great. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for also taking recommend. your time, buddy. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the beers. Yeah, dude, looking forward to you guys fucking ripping. It's going to be fun. Appreciate it. Right here. <laughs> How are you, cool? Getting blown out. So I'm here with Grant. He's a sound engineer. Oh, yeah. It's like Maverick. King Buffalo. I know. I'm working on the look, He also works on the record, <laughs> yeah. by the way. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah, so uh, let's get your impressions of this beer. This is from Grand Armory Brewing. Nice. Brewed in our hometown of Grand Haven, Michigan. This is an IPA I'd actually drink more than one of. Normally with IPAs, like I'll be like one, I'm like, okay, cool, I'm gonna switch to something else. But uh, yeah, no, this is really good. I'm saying. All right, let's switch in this beer. All right, what do we got? This the is a uh, promise. Founders Mosaic Promise, brewed right next door to where you guys will be playing. Sweet. Ooh, that's good too. Single hop ale, so it's not an IPA, just one hop. Just one. Just hops one time. Uh, this is <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like what's going on with that other one a little more. It's what if you combine them? Combine them? Like, just go for it? Yeah. Stone Cold Steve Austin it? 
We've got a little of that, a little of that. Ooh, the hybrid is nice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I need a glass. I would totally just like put right. both in there. Excellent. <laughs> Sweet. Right on. These are good beers. Thanks for your time, buddy. Yeah. Good to meet you. You as well. It's rock and roll. Let's do it. You want this smoke? <laughs> are, we, are we recording? So I'm back with uh, the man behind the sliders. Oh, yeah. The man that bridges the gap between the band and the ears of the audience. Sliding into this uh He's trying the Shorts, shorts <laughs> Brew Locals Light. It's an American lager. Some may say as beer is meant to be. What do you think? After all those hops, it's a nice uh, it's a nice break. I'm like these uh, fingers in my pocket right now, but um, let's see. What do I think? This is like an end of the night kind of beer for me. I would say. Wonderfully said. Yep. But I like it. It's good. It's solid. Good thing it's not the end of the night. Yeah, I know. I got to put it down now and wait till the end of the night. There we go. Be ready for the end of the night. All right, thanks, Grant. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, cheer, cheers, boys. Cheers. Thank you, Thank you for the beer.